Hello and welcome. This is Lunch Break with Pastor, Associate Pastor Tony Gandula. I am very happy to join you for this awesome week. This is our week. At the end of this week, we do an outreach at my father's house. We haven't done an outreach in about a year and a half to two years. We've done outreaches, but not like, hmm, not like we invite the vendors from uh, different community resources in the valley and we get food in um, and get to just take two hours <laughs> with everybody. And well, it's just different. We have our uh, stuff for kids. And what else we got going on? We have a, a gospel presentation we do. And uh, it's just a bunch of really um, good things for the community. We'll be at the Suites this coming Saturday, the 22nd. Pray for us. If you want to give to the work of God, hit the donate um, shop on website button on Facebook and take it to the donate now button at our website at mfhlv.com. So I'm very happy to join you. I'm excited about the word of the Lord. Something really wonderful happened to me this morning, Sunday morning. And um, this is one of the coolest things about knowing Jesus. Bar none. This is one of the coolest things about walking with God, having fellowship with God Almighty through his spirit because of his son and the spirit of his son, the Lord Jesus Christ. This is it. You ready? God <laughs> speaks to you. And how? Very simply, through his word. So what happened this morning? I'm lying in bed, and usually this stuff happens when I first wake up or, yeah, because my mind is not full of stuff, you know? It's just, it, it doesn't cr crowd in with stuff. Um, it's not a barrage. And God is able to just, I'm able to listen <laughs> better. And I heard the Lord say, real simply, an offering in righteousness. And I go, okay. So I do that, uh, that search on your phone in my Bible app. And there is one scripture that says it like that. An offering in righteousness. And it is the book of Malachi, chapter 3, verse 3. So this is going to be our verse for the week, and our subject's going to be about this subject. And it's a very awesome, deep subject. Our pastor, Jose, spoke on it Saturday in a meeting. And it's about the Lord um, refining his people. And what's so cool is in here you see the purpose of that refining that God does with his people. And it made me look at um, tempering. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says that one of the fruits of the Spirit is temperance. And the word temperance means to temper or tempering. And it, it it's like when steel is tempered. So I know a little bit about steel, and I know very little bit about it. But um, the stronger steel is basically, it, it's harder steel. It's been tempered and it's been put together better. <laughs> but to make it even harder, there is a process of refining it and it makes the steel stronger. And in this particular video, I saw a guy uh, hardened a chisel and this chisel he used to actually pinch out like he was um, like a plane ac across wood where you able to strip off wood. He was able to strip off steel with his chisel after he hardened it. So it was just a cool demonstration, a couple of minute long video. So God does that with us, with his people. And it says why he does it. He does it, because I'm giving you kind of a teaser into this week. He does it, he does it. So we, and this is where the verse says, and I'll just read it to you. This is Malachi 3, verse 3. And he shall sit, meaning the Lord God, shall sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He will sit down just like the people who sit down and refine and purify silver. He shall purify, but he's not working on a piece of metal or silver or gold, but he's using it as an analogy. He shall purify the sons of Levi. Those are the ones that basically are called to minister. <laughs> So if you're a believer in the Lord, you're called to minister. You have the privilege of ministering the, the good news of Jesus Christ, not a religion, 
not a don't do this, don't do that, but what it means to be born again, to be born of the Spirit, to be a minister of good news. Not a, a law, not a ritual, not a religion, but how to get a hold of God <laughs> through his son Jesus and how to be a new person, a new creation because of his son Jesus. So they're the ministers, the sons of Levi. All the sons of Levi in the Old Testament, um, out of the 12 sons, I believe, of Jacob, Levi was a um, very interesting story, but we'll go into all of it. But Levi was set apart to serve in the temple. And that's what he did. Everything the temple involved, from music to sacrifices to putting it up, setting it up, and all the statutes and the judgments and the, all the um, testimonies, everything God said, they were, they were supposed to enact it all. It was quite a, a responsibility. So he will sit as a refiner and purifier of silver. He shall purify the sons of Levi and purge them like silver and gold, which is a metal, is purged. It is refined by fire. Why? <laughs> and I love this because this analogy is also speaking of silver and gold. It's also speaking of an offering. Now look at this, and we'll get into this this week. That they may offer. So he's purifying the ones who are doing the offering. He's not purifying what they offer. He's purifying them first. So they can offer an offering in righteousness. And when I heard the Lord speak to me, plainly was an offering in righteousness. So this week we're going to get into that. See, there is a reason why God wants an offering in righteousness and why he is waiting. He is waiting for that offering in righteousness because he wants to move. <laughs> but he's not going to move unless we present an offering in righteousness. Is this the Bible? Is this the history of God? Is this true? Because if it's true, it'll be part of his personality, right? It'll be part of what God has done throughout the ages. Remember the story of Samuel. The Bible says the word of the Lord was precious in those days. It's a lot like the book of Malachi. Why? The book of Malachi is the last book of the Old Testament. It was considered the last book of the prophets because everybody knew after that. For 400 years, the prophets did not speak. And the book of Samuel the word of the Lord was very precious, it says, in those days. And then if you read that story, you find out why. God's people, because of the leadership in this, sorry, if that's the way it was, had wandered from God. And they were away from God. And God was not talking. <laughs> and that's why it says the word of the Lord was very precious. Did God not want to talk? No, he wanted to. But he was waiting for somebody who would do something right. And that's when Hannah had no child, and she sought God, and she got a hold of him, and she offered an offering in righteousness and said, I will give my firstborn child. If you bless him with a child, I will give that child to serve you for the rest of his days. God was looking for someone who would make an offering, and that released the word of the Lord again because God spoke. He was waiting to bless, minister to the people, but there was a problem, and he, was, he, wanted them to, he wanted to deal with that problem. So just like Malachi, and just like in the book of Samuel, God was waiting for that offering, and then he just downloaded into Samuel. And Samuel had such a reputation that his reputation was, and this is, get this, because some people misunderstand this. They said, they said basically that not a word that came out of Samuel's mouth fell to the ground. What does that mean? <laughs> oh, so I, I'm sorry, I don't mean to make fun, but it's like some people misinterpret that. It means everything he spoke as a prophet of God came to pass. Not once did it not come to pass. Imagine a reputation like that. That's like Jesus never fails reputation, right? And here we are, the last book of the Old Testament. Chapter three, there's only five chapters. God is not gonna talk for 400 years and he's telling people what he's looking for. And then his son comes 400 years later. And in verse three, you know, the Lord's looking for an offering in righteousness. 
He is expecting it and he wants it. And there's a reason why we'll get into that this week. God bless you. Looking forward to an awesome week and to serving the Lord on Saturday too. All right, kiss to the king.